students come and throw the clothes. Men come from the offices, they throw the pants, the undergarments, and here, there, and all. And just walk off as if a maid servant will be there to fold it back. And then diseases spread, they go to the hospital. When diseases spread, nobody in the house is there to tell them. But if there's a joint family, when diseases spread, immediately call the child to tell them. Diseases started, problems started in the house, fight erupts. And dust entered the house. Diseases means a dust entered. Because you were throwing your things, you did not fold it back into the positions. You used the bathroom, you did not clean it up. You didn't clean thoroughly the not a pint of shit in a cup of vanilla ice cream, not a drop of dirt in the commode. Because how could you give the play to another place? Even my, in my school, the, when my girl children give the plates to the boys, the boy will find out a small dirt and then will make a fight and the girls come and complain. Smallest dirt, the boys say, no, no. The smallest dirt cannot be there. If you are cleaning, you must clean thoroughly. Come out the last drop to be cleaned for the next person to use it. Otherwise, your dirt will enter into their body as disease. That is also another plate. <laughs> you have to understand that. If you understood that much, that much base, I think the house is clean. Not only the wife, it is your duty also. When you see it, you also should broom the house, put the things, things back to position. 26th story from the Gateless Gate from the book. Zen flesh, Zen boards written by Paul Ribs. Two monks roll up the screen. Hoke in a serious monastery was about to lecture before dinner. When he noticed that the bamboo screen lowered for meditation has not been rolled up. He pointed to it. Two monks arose from the audience and rolled it up. Hogan observing the physical moment said, The state of the first monk is good, not that of the other. Japanese team around 50 people came from Japan. Not now. This I'm talking about 21 years back when I started this uh, ashram, Devanili ashram, and we were putting the ofuro and other things. Ofuro, ofuro. Ofuro is the hot and cold water uh, bath. So we made it exactly like that. Um, and one, one pond, there will be hot water, and then another pond of cold water. Children. We'll go and sit in hot boiling water for one minute, run and sit in the cold water for three minutes. That's the blood for getting blood circulation. So the 50 people who came from Japan, one of the boss told uh, Naoki-san, who was uh, heading the Japanese team that time. We were having a Japanese culture and Japanese language classes for my, for my students. Because I told my children, India suffered and you suffered. Even though we didn't go for much of the war, we kept on having war or poverty. But Japanese went for a war. They have been bombed and they came up very fast. So I wanted you to learn the culture and the language so that you will also stand strong to roll like a thousand man warrior. That's how we got involved with the Japanese team. And the Japanese team, uh, head of the Japanese team, uh, told uh, Naoki san, tell Sensei Rakum that we will give you 50 lakhs to. Pro to put up the Japanese culture pro project over here because he saw the Ofuro and all. I said, no, no, I don't want your 50 lakhs. He said, I'm shocked. 50 lakhs, don't want. And I said, what I wanted is, I want your technology. I heard Japan has got the technology. 50 lakhs will go in one day or two days. Oh, 50 days. But the technology remains with us. Then the head of the Japanese team told Naoki, he said, tell Sensei Rakum that in Japan, there is no technology. The only one technology we believe is the foundation. A simple example, we go to the restroom, we go to the toilet, and we come out of the toilet. When we come out of the toilet, we make sure that another person should be able to use it. <laughs> but in India, we found people use the toilet and they ask somebody else to clean the toilet. They get people from outside. That was the diseases. How much of money you make, you get diseases. Because you are doing it. Your top cleaning and coming means you went to the commode sitting with somebody else's dirt. That and that can, dirt can enter your body very fast. A pint of shit in a cup of vanilla ice cream. Lowered for meditation. Serio Monas was about to lecture before dinner when he noticed that the bamboo screen lowered for meditation had not been rolled up. He pointed to it. Two monks arose from the audience and rolled it up. It's very much that when you put a chair, you must put it back. When I go to 
Japan, I've always noticed uh, to put the chair back. And if you have not put the chair back, for you, for them, uh, nothing. It is their duty when you go to the restaurant or any other place. But in the restaurant, one time you have gone, not put the chair back into position. Next time when you go there, they say, I'm sorry, there is no space. We have seen the whole uh, hotel, uh, restaurant is empty. But they say, sorry, it is all booked up. You go to the hotel also, if you not put the um, bed sheets and the blankets properly, next time they will not give. I heard this one from... This uh, lady called Mother Amrita Mai, she's called the hugging saint, very popular with the money and power. And a lot of people love her. But I think the love came because of her simplicity. She was in Canada and, uh, and everybody came down and the cars were ready to move to another place. And they found Mother Amrita Mai, they called her Amma, she was not seen. So one group rushed up to find out where she is and they were shocked to see Ma was going from, Amma was going from room to room and putting all the bedsheets in proper order, pillows. <laughs> she did not have to do it. But that has made people to understand. Anything you do, give a finishing touch, you will not have disease. You have brought down the unnecessary leakages. You do not have to have a plumber and a electrician to, to cover up your gaps gaps are there that is called communication gaps that it is your duty to cover the communication gap when you do that lower for meditation has not been rolled up he pointed to two monks arose from the audience and rolled it up when the master said the the screen you have not pulled it up but you have put it down for meditation now it is dinner time you have to roll it back who was in charge why didn't you roll it up so two of the, the boys ran to pull it up and the master said the state of the first monk is good, not that of the other. state of the first monk means he understood. He was shocked. He got a satori. Oh, I did not give finishing touch. He ran with full of energy and power and spirit. The second one was, I beku beda, whether I need it or not. That one is, is not a good structure because that, that space of thinking whether like that, within that second, this is has entered. Within that second, bookish knowledge has entered. And that smallest gap in the building can destroy you. Organ of sowing the physical movement said, the state of the first monk is good, not that of the other.